Well, and that's really what the book about is about. The book, Uncontainable, how passion and commitment and conscious capitalism built a business where everyone thrives. Um, you know, we, uh, the container store is a, <clears throat> we call it a quirky, yummy culture, uh, an employee first culture. Uh, it's, 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 it's pretty simple, really. If you take better care of your employees than anybody else, I mean, if you really take better care of them than anybody else, they really and truly will take better care of the customer than anybody else. And if those two people are ecstatic, I mean, your shareholders are going to be ecstatic. You know, the community is going to be ecstatic because you do so well, you're able to do a lot for the community. We really are trying to create a business where everyone thrives. We don't myopically just focus on the shareholder. Uh, ironically enough, the best way to take care of the shareholder is to yeah. focus first and foremost on the employee because they're the ones that deal with your vendors, they're the ones that deal with your customers, etc. That, that, did this start? Did you start the store with this philosophy, or did it evolve over time? Yeah, we. Uh, it, it certainly has evolved over time, but we were uh, really adamant about this. Um, you know, from the from the very first, <clears throat> I was, uh, you know, young, idealistic kid just love philosophy i wanted to major in philosophy in college but my dad wouldn't let me he said if you major in philosophy you got to pay your own way so i majored i majored in english which is the same thing close enough yeah <laughs> but you know um it's it's um uh, one equals three is is uh, is, is so fun because people want to work with people that they think are great you know so we yeah. we say look uh, one equals three is an understatement. You're you're 20 or 50 times better at a lot of things than than I am. And but just the concept that if someone's three times as good as someone else, hire that person, pay them mm. well, train them well, and then the other people that get to work with them are delighted with them because, you know, who wants to work with uh, yeah. people that are not engaged and not particularly good at what they want to do? Uh, so one equals three is one of those foundation principles that the you, company is is founded on that we talk about. The you up everybody's game. You up everybody's game that way. <laughs> so you, and, I noticed I noticed that you you registered the term conscious capitalism. Is that you you own the trademark on that? Is that correct? no? We don't. There's a. I'm actually on the board of a of, of a group called Conscious Capitalism, and it's something that I'm very passionate to spreading the word on. Um, uh, crazily enough, the uh, founder and uh, CEO, uh, uh, the co-founder and co-CEO of Whole Foods, John Mackey. Uh, He's from Boulder, is, uh, I think. He's a Boulderite. He, yeah, he lives in Boulder and also Austin, where Whole Foods is based. He's really passionate about it, too. And um, Amazingly, he and I were college roommates at University of Texas in Austin years ago. Oh, wow. And, uh, and then we both went off and started these conscious capitalist retail companies. And oh, my goodness. Funny is, that's sure as heck not what we talked about when we were in school, right? That's not what we talked about. Not even we, a little bit? Not even a little bit? Uh, maybe a little bit, but you yeah. know, there, were, there, were, there were other uh, things a lot more interesting, like girls and those kinds of <laughs> distractions. And so, but we did go out and create two uh, businesses oh, that, that really have the same business philosophy. I mean, almost identical business philosophy. We don't always agree on politics or a lot of other things, but we certainly agree on, on, on business philosophy, like... Like communication is leadership. Leadership is communication. That's what it is. And so uh, uh, customers and employees are, are, are longing for uh, transparency. That's what they want. And I like to choose friends and employees the same way based on how transparent they are. I just, I just don't think, I think life's too short for people that are opaque. Deceit. Do you, you uh, equate opaqueness with deceit or dishonesty? Yeah, uh, yeah, or, or just just operating on a need to know basis. I mm -hmm. think I think that type of behavior is mostly driven uh, by deep seated insecurities, which mm -hmm. can be uh, you know a really bad thing. And so uh, I also think a business that nurtures and develops and, uh, and and allows people to be exactly who they are and be the best they can be That's uh, great. Uh, reduces those insecurities and allows people to be you know it's all kind of like Maslow's hierarchy of need. The, the higher you are on Maslow's hierarchy and need, the, the better you can be to the people around you and your company and, and, and that type of thing. So companies, I think, have a responsibility to uh, uh, nurture and develop employees so that they lose their insecurities, they become uh, uh, modestly uh, self-confident, and then they can do better for their business, the coworkers, the customers, et cetera. 
Now, we have, uh, a lot of our, our listeners here are involved in, in uh, network marketing, multi-level marketing. I don't know if you're familiar with it. How do some of your, some of your uh, fundamental principles of selling, for example, you have this concept you call a um, man in the desert selling. How can somebody who's doing a, a, entrepreneur, a multi-level marketing uh, or a network marketing kind of business, entrepreneurs who are operating on a multi-level um, framework, how can they apply man in the desert selling, for example? Well, that's an important one, and um, at the Container Store, we sell solutions, not items. Uh, We have these great, uh, really well-paid, really uh, well-trained people that are uh, spending a lot of time with you, and and, and you wind up buying 12 things to organize your your toy storage area. So that's a solution to something that's been bugging you forever, not not just one item. But Mm. man in the desert, um, what most people in sales positions, be it retail or any sales positions, are are really deep down worried about is they want to get through life without ever being accused of being a pushy salesperson. So as a result, they usually wind up underselling or wimping out or not really giving the customer what she needs and wants and deserves because they're kind of afraid of doing too much. And so they do too little. We're trying to get what we call the customer dance. We want you to where you go in your closet that we've uh, organized for you. You love it so much that you do a little dance. You're so excited about it. You don't get the customer dance if you're worried about um, uh, being seen as, as, as pushy. You're incomplete. So the man in the desert, what do you do when you see the man in the desert? You go out and give him a glass of water, and then you pat yourself on the back for thinking that you've done something great. But actually, you can, you can uh, bring him into your oasis, and you can give him uh, uh, aloe vera and food and call home to tell his family he's okay. You're intuiting his needs and really thrilling the guy, really helping him in the true mm. sense of the word, not not selling him more than he wants, helping him in the true sense of the word. That actually puts the moral imperative, if you will, on selling rather than not selling. It makes uh, selling you, a good thing. So you, you owe it. You actually, you're holding out in a way. If you don't, if you don't sell him, you're actually holding out. That's not kind of, it's not unfair in a way. Hey Kip, thanks so much for joining us. I know you got to you got to go. I appreciate the the uh, brief time you spent with us. The book is uncontainable. Kip Tyndall, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day, Kip. Uh, hopefully, we'll get you on a, uh, another time sometime soon. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side on Hi, GCN. Hi, this is Sophie Winnick, longtime distributor and user of Longevity products. In the last few years, my family went through a crisis. Everything else in my life, including my business, had to be put on the back burner. Thankfully, life is getting back to normal now. But the one thing I never had to worry about was my business and my monthly commission. I've been a distributor for young. Longevity for over 17 years, since before it was Longevity. And I've got to say, the most amazing thing about this company is the people. While my family was in crisis, other distributors stepped in and helped my customers, simply because that's what Longevity people do, even for people they don't know. For me, it has never been about getting rich. It was about a product I could stand behind, a company I could count on, and a monthly commission check that has never not once been late in 17 years. Longevity is truly a business for everyone, even people who have too much to do. I'm Sophie Winnick. I'm just like you. I have a real life, real ups and downs, but I know I will always have longevity. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. 
filtration. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for five to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three square meals you'll need in an emergency. So the Freeze Dry Guys three square meal unit sale is just a ticket. A variety pack of tasty, nourishing breakfast, lunch, and dinner on sale now. Breakfast is Freeze Dry Guys' favorite. Hot oatmeal and sweet dehydrated bananas. Lunch is Mountain House freeze dried hot macaroni and cheese and crisp green beans. And dinner is Mountain House long grain wild rice pilaf and hearty beef stew, vegetables, and gravy. Call Freeze Dry Guy and ask for details on the 120. 26 serving three square meals unit. One case normally 164.37. Sale price at only 138.90. Save over 25 bucks. Get two or three cases and save even more. Or ask about Freeze Dry Guys Fall Chili Special. Always free shipping to the lower 48 states. Call 866-404-3663 or click freezedryguy.com. And hurry, the Fall Chili Special and three square meals unit are on sale while supplies last. From the Freeze Dry Guy, the finest freeze dried and dehydrated foods available for long term storage. Period. UnseenNow.com, proud sponsor of GCN. Unseen Now's unparalleled encryption tools keep your communications secure. GCN. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. We've got a shopping cart up at brightsideben.com with all the longevity products, including the new Beyond Organic products and the new Restart Your Life products, the beta-glucan products. I'm not actually sure uh, that they're in stock yet, but they're all, you can find them all up at brightsideben.com, including the Healthy Start Pack and the Healthy Brain and Digestion Pack, all the healthy packs. You can also find a Join the Team link up at brightsideben.com if you want to help me in my mission to educate the world about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be. For you guys in the Olean, New York, upstate New York area, I am going to be doing a talk for my friend Jonathan Smith uh, this Tuesday, uh, the 21st of October at the, uh, the uh, well, I'll let Jonathan tell you because he's on the line. Jonathan, what's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going, Ben? What's going on? Good to talk to you, and I am very excited to see you again. Having, I guess I haven't seen you for, what, what it's been two years yeah, probably? About two and a half, two and a half years. Just two and a half years. Uh, 2012, right? I've known, just let me tell the listeners here real quick, Jonathan, and then we'll let you talk about your event. I've known Jonathan now for going on four years, I think. I met Jonathan right after I started doing The Bright Side, and I was really impressed by his by his passion to help people and by his knowledge as well. Jonathan was actually transcribing my shows before he, I even asked him to do anything. Jonathan was transcribing my shows on his own, uh, and he's been writing a lot of stuff for me. I've gotten to know him real well, and I'm very excited to be doing an event for Jonathan this coming Tuesday. Tell us a little bit about what's going to happen, Jonathan, this Tuesday, October 21st. Well, just real quick, a uh, quick background. I've uh, when I, got, I moved out here about two years ago, and I started doing uh, fitness training with people, and uh, I've just found that the people that are uh, most attracted to the, the, my training are, are people who are maybe on the, on the older side. They're not feeling so good. They're not really looking very good. They're not feeling up to speed. And, and a lot of them are uh, really just shackled to uh, medications. They're living from one doctor visit to another. And uh, it's just a common thing I've noticed. And um, so, of course, you know, having listened to your show for so many uh, years by now and becoming pretty well-versed in, in your uh, your outlook and your approach to, uh, to health and, and, and fitness is obviously a carryover. I brought that message to my, my clients, and, uh, you know, I brought them uh, into the uh, world of longevity products, and uh, it's done a lot for them. A lot of people, women are reporting that they're not feeling hot flashes anymore. They're uh, feeling better. The, uh, the, the men are uh, losing weight. The women are losing weight. They're just feeling better all around. And, uh, you know, again, my, my message to them is, look, let's uh, – Let's try to get you, uh, you know, to, to, to better uh, take care of your body so that maybe eventually you're not going to need the meds. I've had people get off of meds. So it's been really, really successful. And um, it's, just, uh, it's just sad that there's uh, so few people around uh, that, that know how to take care of themselves properly. So uh, it, teaming up with you, we're going to have this seminar on uh, Tuesday 
that is uh, really just going to be uh, meant to, to bring to people's attention that they have non-toxic solutions uh, to, to take control of their, of their health and to uh, take uh, control of the aging process and, and reverse the disease process as well. And so uh, it's, it's going to be just a seminar to have uh, the people understand what their options are and, and uh, really just get them uh, enthusiastic about being healthy and, and understand that, that there is health out there for them and 